So I had a request to make some farmhouse end tables, and I think it's going to be a pretty easy project, so I think that's the one we'll do today. Okay, the first thing I like to do is I just take a little bit off the end of my 2x4 here, because I want to have a nice square cut. So I just push it up against the blade, and it takes just a blade width off of it. So now we know we have a nice square cut. So now I want to set my stop here on the end to 20 inches. So now all we got to do is rest our 2x4 up here and we'll cut every one of them the same length. Alright, so now we're going to cut the pieces for our tabletop and I want to do like a frame. I'm going to do uh, 45 degree angle cuts, do a frame, and we're going to put two by fours and make a little insert in it, a little inlay. I think it's really going to look nice. So, uh, the first thing I do is I'm going to cut these at 24 inches. I've already set my stop up at 24 inches, so I'm going to need four of these. Alright, so now we're going to cut our top. I'm going to make a frame, and then we're going to do a little inlay inside of it. I think it's going to look really nice. We're going to set this up at 21 and a half inches. We're going to cut a 45 degree angle. Stop here. Now we've got our two 45 degree angles. We'll cut three more. We'll make our frame. Okay, so I've cut all my two by fours uh, with a 45 degree angle. I've already run through the table saw, so I've got a nice sharp edge. So I want to do a two by four inlay. So I did cut these at 21 and a half inches, but I had to shorten this end to make the two by fours work out, and it's 19 and a quarter. So here's what we're trying to achieve here. We're gonna, it's gonna be like a picture frame. And then we're gonna set our two by fours on the inside like this. This is gonna be our end. So this is giving you an idea what I'm trying to build here. So in order to put this frame together, we're gonna put some uh, pocket screws on the back side. So this is what we call a pocket jig. And what we're going to do is turn our 2x4 over. We'll set it here and we'll drill and make these little pockets on the back side to put our screws in. And then that's how we'll attach our 2x4s together and make our frame. So we're going to set our pocket jig We're going to set our pocket jig right about here. Let me take these vice grips. Now we just take our drill. Now you have these two holes and the screw is going to go in here and we'll attach it to this board and this will be the bottom so nobody will see it. So now we're going to put the pocket hole on all the others. We're going to put our frame together. So as you see the screw goes in this hole is going to come into this board. 
I'm going to take a little glue. And then we're going to join our corners together. We'll just shoot the screws right in. Now we've got our frame built and now we're going to do the inlay. It's going to pick out a nice smooth side. All right. I'll put a little glue on it. It should fit real tight. We let this glue set up for a little while. I'll go back and sand it down smooth. But we are going to try to tap it up and uh, get it really even. So now I raise it up a little bit and I'll just tap it back down. Okay, as soon as that glue sets up, we'll go back to the sander and sand this down smooth and we won't have any rough edges and then we'll stain this. Uh, once that glue sets in, that top's not going anywhere. So now we're going to take our legs and we're going to take a 1x4 and attach our legs together with it. So we're going to put this 1x4 flush with the side and the top. together with nails or screws. Alright, now we're going to attach the legs together. 
So we put this one by four flush with the two by four here, but we're gonna put this flush with the one by four out here. Same here, we're gonna make it flush with the outside of this. So I decided I'm going to put a little brace on both sides here and then I'm going to add a 2x6 shelf in the middle. I think it's going to look nice so I'm going to go ahead and add these in now. So I've already got my legs on here so it's going to be, so I can put these in but I, it's going to be hard to attach them. I don't want to shoot a nail in here at an angle because you'll be able to see it. So I've got a little trick for that. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these nails in the end of the board and then I'm going to clip them off. So I just put my nail on here. And I'm going to take my side cutters here and I'll cut the nail head off. Okay, so we put our by in here. We'll take our clamp. We'll clamp it together. I've already done this side. All right, so I'll cut a two by six, and it's going to go right in the middle. It's going to be our little shelf in here. It's going to sit in there. So I'm, I'm going to paint the frame of this white, and I'm going to have a dark stained top. So I think I'm going to stain the shelf too. So before I attach this in here, I'm going to go ahead and, and stain this board. It'll be easier to stain now than when it's inside. Okay, so now we've had uh, time to let our glue set up. So I'm going to go ahead and give the top a quick sanding, and then we're going to stain this too. Sanded the top down, and now it's ready for a coat of stain. And once that 
drives will clear it. So it's kind of hard to tell, but you see you got a nice frame and then a nice inlay. I went ahead and stained the little 2x6 I'm going to put in here for our little shelf. Uh, when we go and paint our legs white, we'll just tape this up. But it's easier to stain it now than it is when it's on the table. So while we let this glue set up, which won't take very long, maybe an hour or so, um, then we can go ahead and paint this. I'm going to go ahead and sand my rough edges so it'll be ready to paint. So I've gone back and I've sanded all the little rough edges, but we still have these holes made from our air nailer. So before we paint it, I'm going to go back and fill it in. I'm just going to use some of this all-purpose white chalk here. I just put a little bit on the finger and put it in the hole. This little corner here. Once it's in the hole, just take a damp rag and wipe off the excess. All right, we've let our glue dry, we've let our stain dry, and we've let our caulking here dry where we've plugged up all our little nail holes. So I taped up the shelf, and now we'll just go and put a quick coat of white semi-gloss house paint on it. I'm gonna put two coats on the whole thing, and then once that's dry, I'm gonna go back and put a coat of clear on the shelf and a coat of clear on the top. So we've got the the frame of it painted. I've cleared the little shelf on the bottom and I've cleared the top. Now all we have to do is attach our top to it. I've got a pocket hole drilled here and one here. I'm not going to put a lot of screws holding. I only want a couple to hold it because the wood moves and expands. And then our top's going to go on like so. So all we got to do is attach it. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Coco.